Ever notice spotting around day 10 to 14 of your cycle and wonder what's going on? I am your local OBGYN. I love women. And is this something that you need to worry about? Mid-cycle bleeding is something that happens as light bleeding outside of your typical period. And do you need to worry about it? It's usually something that we'll see in women who have a regular cycle, but it doesn't always mean that there's some drama or problem that's cooking in the background. One of the most common reasons this happens is ovulation, because in the middle of your cycle, when ovulation happens, estrogen drops down and progesterone goes up. So there's kind of like a hormonal handoff between the two. When this happens, sometimes that handoff happens in just a way that you can have sort of like this lining disruption of your uterus. It actually has this really terrible name called middle schmerz, but it's a very common finding of some light spotting days right when you think you're ovulating and it is not a problem. The birth control or hormonal shifts can also cause this as well because it can essentially mean that the lining is again a little bit more delicate in this midtime. If you're on certain types of birth controls and the hormone shift is going on due to the medications or even if you're in like a perimenopause type state that lining can be a little extra sensitive to the normal shifts that are happening causing a light bleed. Some people just have a sensitive cervix. The cervix that we describe is something called a friable cervix, meaning it's like super delicate, kind of like every time you touch your nose, it wanted to spot. That's a delicate cervix that wants to just ooze if you touch it. And this can be more common for some people with intercourse or pap smears. Again, it should be a very short lived light bleed. You should get seen if the bleeding is more than just a little bit of spotting, if it's heavy, if it's painful, if it's happening every single time after intercourse, or if it's postmenopausal, because any of these things should get dived into a little bit more with your local OBGYN. Takeaway is mid-cycle spotting is not always a problem. If it's frequent, painful, concerning to you, go get a checkup, but it just might be your hormones and your hormonal handoff 